Hey, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Hacker Associate. In this hacking episode, we are going to learn about firmware hacking. How to hack the firmware? So most of the people ask me the question like, how to hack the firmware? So in this particular video, I'm going to answer. So how to hack the firmware? So I have created a proper mind map. You just follow the mind map, and when you basically start with any firmware, right? So it can be a TP-Link, it can be a, a D-Link, it can be any other ARM-based firmware, whatever it is. Uh, this step remains same okay and uh, based on the architecture we need to perform an attack okay so this is basically a proper mind map you can follow it offensive firmware security testing you can basically download this mind map from uh, twitter as well as my linkedin so here is a uh, linkedin okay you can uh, follow this particular company page for updates regular updates webinar and free sessions and so on uh, almost you can see uh, 99k plus people have joined our community please join our community that will motivate us to record a video like that thank you once again uh, for your support so here is a basically uh, the mind map and how do we start okay the firmware right so number one uh, basically we need to uh, apply information gathering and reconnaissance phase second we need to obtain the firmware from a website which i'm going to show you shortly third is analyzing the firmware and then extracting the firmware there are many software for that uh, analyzing file system content then emulating firmware basically KMU or uh, Pharmadyne we can use it dynamic analysis and then runtime analysis and binary exploitation so my best tool for reverse engineering is Ghidra and Hopper I'm using for uh, reverse engineering right so let's go to the practical part directly straightforward I'm going to show you how to start with the firmware okay so in this particular section what you need to do you can simply go to the Google uh, so simple just search TP link firmware download so when you simple go to TP link firmware download just click here and you will get all the firmware you can simple select the firmware and you can accordingly you can download according to your requirement to test the firmware and we are going to use this dedicated machine okay for all kind of IoT testing so this is a new VM I created and I'm going to release uh, you know um, this particular VM uh, for everybody in few weeks so you can download okay from my server hackerassociate.com and uh, you can test any kind of device okay this virtual machine so we'll create a separate video okay on this particular vm how to use it what uh, the tools i have installed there everything we'll discuss in the later video okay but in this particular video we specifically focus on firmware hacking so if you go to the terminal area uh, in this section so we have uh, the terminal okay and here if you go to the cd this area iot firmware hacker associate when you do have ls command and here okay you can see clearly there is a firmware folder so you can simply go to the firmware folder download the firmware so in my case i am simple going to the firmware folder and you can see clearly i have different different firmwares available here so when you go to the firmware like this uh, let's say uh, this firmware right this is tar file so this is zip file this is a firmware i downloaded from internet and extracted it become a tar then again extracted become a root fs scratch fs right this is basically a file uh, system scratch fs okay is basically a extracted part of the this particular firmware right so if you want to extract the firmware you can use a bin walk uh, you can also analyze entropy and everything using minus e option so minus capital e for entropy analysis you can simply just type root tap 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 so in my case i don't need this one so what i will do is i'll do ls and here you can copy this and just run okay bin walk minus capital e and you paste here right so this is you can see clearly so it is still building the thing so once we are done with this part we will going to check it out so you can see clearly this is the entropy analysis right so from this we can identify like compression encryptions and all this information from this particular section okay next section is you can simple run bin walk minus e for extraction but i'm not extracting i want to show you how it look like so you can simply see root fs or we can simply directly uh, paste here and enter and you can clearly see that we have a squash fs file system right and once you extract the file or we can once you extract this particular firmware it become like this so you can simply go using cd command and just go like that uh, root fs and you can clearly see that we have this particular file system that is called squash fs root this is the procedure okay uh, there are many variation in that if you see arm there's a little bit different procedure for arm based firmware so for more information okay don't forget to check my program uh, on iot 
so this is my course okay like offensive iot uh, hacking and security we'll basically teach all devices here and this is completely for those people okay who love hardware hacking okay now coming to the point once again so we are here and when you see uh, this is basically scratch fs file system and you can see this is the linux file system when you do ls minus ll and you can see clearly we have this file so when you simple type ls uh, bin uh, busy box you can see clearly here bin busy box is available there right if i want to execute this file okay using dot slash uh, bin busy box and you can see i'm able to run the command so let me check what's the error here so i'm going to run okay using ch root or uh, ls minus la bin busy box so you can clearly see that this basically support this you know binary support busy box so through busy box okay we can run the command and all right uh, for example if i want to run any command on this firmware so i can use a busy box so how to use this one so we can use a kmu for that so there is a kmu available that's called kmu mips static you can simply just type sudo and you just type ch root and this is the command so this is basically the uh, basically the type the architecture the architecture is mips so we are using a kmu mips static so how to identify the architecture is simple okay you run the command again i'm showing you uh, you can use a cat command or you can sorry the file command and then just type okay like uh, dot slash bin and busy box and you can clearly see that okay this is the mips architecture right that reason um, we are using mips static binary so in order to run ch root this is the command and now when you run it enter the password and you can clearly see that we are able to execute the uh, particular command or we can say we are able to run the busy box if you want to run any other command apart from this you can simple type here example let's say uh, uname you can see the uname is linux uh, when you type okay like example it said date you can see clearly the date is here so that's how okay you can play with the firmware there are many other steps are available okay this is not only the way there are lot of ways okay to deal with the firmware directly we'll deal with the the hardware directly okay so that exactly is another point so we'll discuss in the later video but this is the process okay so for more information you can please check my video uh, uh, regarding offense iot in that playlist okay go to the hacker associate check the playlist and you can check other video regarding this and if you have any other further question feel free to ask me okay through community discord linkedin twitter or whatever a convenient method for you you can ask the question accordingly thank you so much for your support support once again and have a great day see you in the next hacking episode have a great day thank you